I wanted to start with the Grizzlies Lakers game last night. You know, John Moran was obviously out for, for game two, but as we've seen the past couple of seasons now, this was per your teammate at the ringer, KOC, the Grizzlies are 33 and 17 without John Morant since last season, including the playoffs. Um, what did you see from, from the Grizzlies last night without Ja? Yeah, I, I think the outcome of this game says a lot about just their medals, Xavier Tillman, their depth. Um, he had a fantastic game. Uh, obviously, Jared Jackson Jr. going 40 minutes and only committing three personal fouls is uh, a miracle. And, you know, Tyus Jones, Desmond, ba these guys are just they're really good players. And I think, though, that the result of the game says more about the Lakers. Um, I'm not a Lakers person. I am befuddled by people who think that this team can make a deep playoff run, let alone win this series, which I still think the Grizzlies will do. Um, it it just confuses me, to be honest with you. And I'm not going to be impersonating Dylan Brooks up here saying that I don't respect LeBron until he scores 40. But like this... I bears. <laughs> I poke bears is so this, oh my god this, this version of lebron that we've seen in this series that we've seen um over the past couple of weeks of the regular season when he was healthy enough to play it's just he's clearly not the lebron james that we're accustomed to just rolling through whoever's in front of him to get to the nba finals it's just like it's kind of obvious to me um not even close to as explosive not even close to as athletic and like you look at just the pick and roll numbers like austin reeves has run more pick and rolls in this series than lebron james d'angelo russell's run more pick and rolls in the series than like that's just that's wild to me honestly and you know he went to the post-ups in the fourth quarter and he had success on one on dylan brooks early and then just got stonewalled on two straight possessions after that i i just i don't know i i i I, I love the Grizzlies. I think they play hard. I know how to kind of uh, play together the right way. They have, they're tremendously coached. But the Lakers aren't a very good team still, in my opinion. So that's kind of what I was chalking that game up to last night. Yeah, I, I mean, for the Lakers, like they, they really do need to hit threes at like a reasonable clip. And I feel like that's been their weakness for obviously this before the trade deadline and of course they've added some shooters but I, I i don't feel like we've fully seen that like for example d'angelo russell i just have not been impressed with his performance in the first two games here i feel like it's either the moment's too big for him it's not like the grizzlies defensive attention is even so much centered around him or that he even has that difficult of a one-on-one -on -one matchup but his shooting has just not really been there his playmaking i don't feel like is has been good enough and yeah i mean I, I suppose this is kind of like the Lakers predicament now, right? If LeBron's not going to be at his best, then you really do need these other guys to be great consistently. And that's never what you would really have said about a LeBron James led team in the past. It was just like, you know, LeBron's a given, you know, LeBron's going to be excellent. Are these other guys going to be able to sort of step up and rolls around them? And, and now it feels like, okay, now LeBron is the question mark. And I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll just get into Dylan Brooks stuff now, but like, how much of this is Dylan Brooks being, like, genuinely a very, very good on-ball defender, genuinely one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders in the league, putting aside all the, the, the antics? And how much of it is just, like, you know, LeBron is just getting older, and, and, and clearly he's playing through injury, too? I think credit to Dylan Brooks, who's amazing. And he was in foul trouble throughout game two. That really hampered him. I think he mentioned that in the trash talk, that he did not appreciate LeBron talking back to him after he picked up his fourth foul, which <laughs> is just such a legend in all respects. This is the most main character of main characters, man. <laughs> Dylan Brooks, <laughs> this is Dylan Brooks's world, man. Holy. It, it only took one game. I love it. It is. Uh, so, you know, credit to him. Um, but I wrote about this earlier this week. It's just when I watched LeBron, I don't see the lift. I don't see him attacking the basket like he normally would. He does not get to the free throw line like he, uh, like we've known him to in big games. And there was a lot of credit given to Austin Reeves, deservedly so, at the end of game one when he kind of took over and was just hitting pull up after pull up against drop coverage. Shout out to him for that. And the credit was given to him, and it was also said that some people were saying that um, 
you know, LeBron knows what he has around him. LeBron doesn't need to take over. And I'm, I'm like, what game are you guys watching? Like, that's if LeBron could take over this game, he would. <laughs> like, it's LeBron James. What are we talking? It's a big playoff game on the road. This guy said after the All Star break that these were the 23 biggest games of his entire career going into the playoffs. And now that he's here, he's going to let Austin Reeves take over the offense. Like that makes absolutely no sense. So, um, yeah, I think that LeBron, for the Lakers to be a title contender, LeBron has to be the best player or the second best player on the court in every minute he's on there. He's been what the fourth best player in this series, maybe. Um, so I. I don't know. I maybe it sounds like I'm being too harsh on him, but that's just the stakes with looking at this roster, which I still don't think is very good or very deep. Um, I I just I don't don't have a lot of faith in him playing on one foot and getting the job done in the the minute allotment that he needs to right now.